up guys, welcome to the channel. Today's video, finally, I'm able to get this out and start this project. This is an FG Model Sport uh, sports line. This is the racing lorry uh, version. One fifth scale or one fifth scale chassis. I think this is more one sixth, one seventh scale. A little story of how I got this. So I went to pick up this sand scorcher. Uh, I'm gonna do a video on this probably in the new year. Um, putting a crazy motor in it. We're gonna go to the beach and try and break my own record. I got a really good deal on this, but we'll talk about that in another video. Anyway, I went to get this. And while I was talking to the guy, he said, are you interested in an RC truck? And I was like, well, it depends what it is. And I thought it was gonna be like a little one tenth Tamiya. <laughs> Turns out it was this thing. And I got it. I don't even think I wanna tell you how much I paid for it, because uh, you may be a little bit jealous. Anyway, anyway, I don't really know much about these, so let's get a little bit closer. Let's have a look over it, see what we've got. And this thing's got some nice upgrades on it as well. It's never been run, but I'm not really a fan of petrol engines. So I've got a nice big motor. We're gonna do a brushless conversion on this, and we're gonna get this thing absolutely ripping. So this thing, it's never been run, although it has got some damage. I think what's happened is someone's dropped it, or it could be a second-hand body. So we need to get a little bit of shoe goo or something on there to repair it, but nice big anyway, really nice looking body we got Darth Morph in there on a skeleton body you can't really see because of the reflection but uh, I think he turns with the steering so his head turns I think so <laughs> cool little feature overall though this thing's gonna look awesome uh, once we get that brushless in I'm gonna be running it 8s I think it's going to be uh, quite interesting. Definitely don't want to be getting in the way of it though, with this uh, big metal ball bar on the front. Right, I'm going to get the body off and I'm going to show you a little bit closer inside and have a little talk about what we're actually going to be doing with this or what we've got to do to convert it to brushless. Before we do that though, here it is next to the um, SBR and you'll see what I mean. Although the chassis may be one fifth scale, this is one sixth scale. So I'm thinking more one seventh, even, I don't know, even one eighth scale you could probably go. If that's one sixth, it's huge, I don't know. But anyway, it's awesome. So Mojave is one seventh. I know you can't all, you can't go on scale on two different types of vehicle, but looking at them two together, you could definitely um, imagine a trophy truck sat next to a racing lorry at that sort of size, maybe. I've been waiting so long to get this out to show you guys because it's just crazy. I love it. Big, chunky, double wishbone suspension at the front there. A um, couple of big old servos. So like I said, I don't think, if I show you, ugh, looking at the chassis, I don't think this thing's ever been used. The rear diff, massive thing. It looks crazy. I mean, I'd love to have run it with the petrol engine, but to be honest with you, for me, it's there's nowhere really round here to go. It's quite loud, it's quite noisy, and I want to get a brushless in there because we all know that brushless power is just crazy compared to anything else. I know some of you gas gas gang out there are probably going to disagree with me but uh, I prefer brushless, prefer it easier. You have loads more space in here and um, it's just going to be good fun. Right, something this has got which I think are upgrades, it's got disc brakes all round. So it's got four independent, so it's got four independent brakes and the front brakes are on a separate servo. You know what that's going to mean, don't you? We've got a line lock on this, if we've got a line lock on this brushless power who wants to see a burnout truck that would be awesome so you've got a servo here that acts on the rear brakes and then you've got a separate servo over here that does the front brakes i don't know i'm going to set the brakes up yet i'm definitely going to have the front brakes on like a line lock though and um, so they'll be separate the rear brakes i might also put on a separate um, channel just so i can activate them without using the motor too much so this is the kit you buy to convert it to brushless i'm hoping it fits it should do. I have seen pictures online of it converted, but... So that's all there. We've got a 5692, 980 kV, big, chunky, surface hobby rocket motor. 
I've had good success with these, not this size, but I'm running one in them Harvey. I'm also running a smaller one in the Pirates 3 up there as well. Um, and I've also run one in the Limitless. Cheap motors, what they are, I think that cost me 80 quid, so about $100. I think that's cheap for a motor. Um, and we're just waiting for Max 5 to come. Um, it's not arrived yet, so I'm going to be running it Max 5 with that motor uh, on AS. It's going to be crazy. Right. First thing I'm going to do then, I'm going to get the fuel tank out, the uh, motor out, get the exhaust off, uh, see how much space we've got, and then start looking at then start looking at getting the brushless stuff on. take as long as I thought but there it is definitely I mean definitely looking at it I don't think this has ever been used so hopefully once um, once I've got everything in and got all the bits and pieces I need off here all the parts I've taken off I'm hoping uh, we'll get a little bit of the money back for the uh, brushless conversion at least pay for the motor that'd be pretty good I'm not sure I'll get enough to pay for it all but there it is all out so now I just need to tidy a few bits up look at where the brackets go for the brushless conversion and start getting that in so the instructions are pretty crap if I'm honest but <laughs> I think this bottom plate goes there like that I need to drill some two holes in the chassis I believe and then I have to take this off of the uh, engine and I think that sits on there like that and then this bracket goes on there but I think this bit I think this is separate I think this is a different um, I think this has been added on for something so I need to remove that again I don't think it tells you to remove that but I need to remove that otherwise this bracket isn't gonna line up so um, let's give that a go so I think I'm guessing <laughs> that's how it goes so swap that bracket I just flipped it over because it was actually um, is actually acting as a spacer under there as well. So I'll just flip that round now. Um, this on the pictures, the really bad pictures, actually attaches to something. So I think that's for a different chassis. Uh, again, not sure what these threaded bits on the top are for. Um, but that's it mounted in. It all looks good. Obviously the motor is going to sit in there. Um, and that's pretty much it. Loads of fixings here. I don't think I'm going to use all them. It gives you a load of brackets for battery trays, but I've got one there. Um, so I should be able to, I don't know, actually, I could probably buy another one of them to go this side, couldn't I? So I could have them evenly distributed there. I'll have a look at that. I'm not sure. Uh, the other thing, I don't think I'm going to be able to use the rear brakes at the moment unless I make up a custom bracket because the bracket for the rear brakes is all fixed to this part. Um, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get that. I might be able to make something, but for the time being, the important ones for us are the front brakes, so I can do some burnouts of it. But we'll just leave them uh, tied out of the way once we get it all going. Anyway, I've got to drill two holes. I'm going to get this mounted on properly. I'm going to have a look at um, getting the motor on. One thing I did forget was I'm going to need a uh, pinion because I don't believe that one is going to fit. And I'm not sure what mod they are. Is it 1.5 of that? So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to crack on, get it all finished. Now when we come back, we should be ready to power on and give this thing a quick test on the bench and uh, <laughs> see if everything I've done has worked. Right. We are pretty much ready to go. So Max 5 is in. Look at all that space in there. Loads of space. Uh, I've got another battery tray for this size. So the batteries. It's got a couple of small 3S's at the moment. So we're going to test it on 6S. But 
plenty of space in there for a battery each side. Motor's all mounted, so we did have a little pinion issue. I tried a 19 first, uh, slightly too big, so I've got an 18 and it's it's a little bit tight, so um, yeah, a little bit tight in the mesh and you can't adjust the uh, mesh on this, so I've ordered a 17. The 18 will work, so we can run it with the 18 teeth, but I think ideally it needs a 17. I've also ordered, this is a this is a 46, I've also ordered a 43 I think as well. We've got a 22 tooth pinion and that 19, so option for the uh, the spur or the gear wheel, whatever you want to call it on this, and got a few pinions. There's the cool disc brakes, it's got four of them all round, front and rear. Not connected the rear up at the moment because I need to make some kind of bracket so that they work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove them for now. The fronts are on, fronts are working so we can use them but I'm going to remove the rear brakes. Right, I'm going to sort the brakes out, get the wheels back on, uh, get the batteries in, just fire it up, make sure everything's working, and then we're going to go and find somewhere just to give it a quick test run on 6S, just to make sure everything is running okay, ESC's okay, motor, all the mounts working, uh, make sure the front brakes and stuff are working. So that's what we're going to do, 6S, and then I think 8S we'll have to save for another video. I may even gear it up, take it somewhere and give it a speed run. So I'm using a DX3 uh, transmitter. This is what you get in like your uh, felony infraction and stuff from Armour. It's got AVC on it. I thought that might help in this. Because these tyres, they almost feel like plastic, but I'm sure it's just because they're brand new. Uh, so I think we might need a bit of AVC. Anyway, all plumbed in. Steering seems to work okay. Although my AVC isn't working. Hmm. I might have to look into that anyway. So it is a little bit noisy, I think it's because of that mesh. But on 6S. It seems pretty fast. Right, let's go and find somewhere to give this a test. Bit of a struggle to find somewhere to run it because the usual place I go was just full of loads of crap and rubbish and stuff. So I found this relatively small car park. Um, just a shakedown day today, so this should be all right. Steering, mm, a bit slow, but <laughs> we're good. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> had the steering set wrong. Those tyres definitely are not made for uh, grip. <laughs> I've got the uh, brake set to the, to the channel um, channel four, I think it is. Oh, this is gonna be hard. It works though, watch, front brakes. Awesome. Right, sort it out. Now got ABC and the steering going the right way. It might give us, might help us a little bit with the control, but still super slippery. Probably a good thing we didn't run 8S on this. <laughs> oh, I need some traction, I need some different tyres. Although they're getting a little bit more grip. Mate, it was still stone cold, which I thought it would be. Well, apart from being awesome looking, we definitely need some better rubber. 
Although, definitely getting a bit more grip. Take it slow. That front brake works really well. <laughs> no chance. Well, I think we can call it a success as in it's running okay, but we call it a fail on the wheels, or the tyres at least. I'm going to get myself some grippy tyres. I think this thing's going to be rapid though, just on six, let alone eight. Right, although it's pretty uncontrollable, so let's see if I can get some uh, nice drifting shots of it for you. Cheers for watching, there is definitely going to be a few more videos of this and it is going to make an awesome, not just drift truck, but with that front uh, line lock, it's going to make an awesome burnout truck as well. Cheers for watching guys, I'll see you next time, enjoy the montage.